for dear students or today we'll see what do we mean by color tv receiver so here our today's topic will be color tv receiver now i have i told you earlier also in the transmitting stage video that we have three color tv systems all over the world and those three are named as pal phase alternating line ntsc national television system committee ccam sequential color with memory and out of these three in our country india we use the pal that is phase alternating line system so today we'll see the block diagram of a pal color tv receiver and as we know that these systems where they are used so the system used in the america and part of the far east is ntsc and the system used pal is used in asia western europe australia africa and eastern south america and ccam is used in eastern europe and france so if you see the block diagram of pal color receiver okay so it looks like this now here we have our first component which is called as receiving antenna and it is going to receive the modulated carrier it is going to receive the modulated carrier now that carrier will consist of a video signal modulating the carrier in amplitude modulation process and in that also it is going to follow vestigial sideband that is upper sideband plus a part of the lower sideband and sound signal will follow frequency modulation so audio is following frequency modulation and both these are combined and received by the receiving antenna so the antenna will convert the electromagnetic energy into electrical energy and the electrical signal is first given to a first block called as tuner now this a tuner is a section which will have initially an amplifier which will amplify the signal because after a transmitting for a long distance it must have become weak so the amplifier will amplify it and after amplification we have a mixer mixer okay and to that a frequency from local oscillator is given local oscillator so the input frequency was just signal frequency fs fs and a local oscillator frequency fo will be given and this two frequency will be heterodyned in the mixer beating of these two frequencies takes place and the output will be a intermediate frequency so output here will be a intermediate frequency so let the signal frequency here which comes be anything the local oscillator will change its own frequency such that the intermediate frequency at the output remains constant so that the next all circuit work for a certain frequency now here the local oscillator frequency changes are changing because the user when he presses the remote the infrared light from the remote when it is taken at the receiver that is in the tv set it is going to affect the local oscillator of the tuner and the local oscillator of the tuner will change its frequency and give a constant intermediate frequency and that is how you do your channel selections so after that the combined signal is given to a video intermediate frequency amplifier video amplifier and from that video amplifier we are going to separate our sound section okay now here you can see the video if amplifier is around 38.9 megahertz and sound if is around 33.4 megahertz so the sound if of 33.4 megahertz is taken and then from that inter carrier of 5.5 megahertz is filtered and from that 5.5 megahertz you are going to amplify and from that frequency modulated 5.5 megahertz you are going to detect the sound signal that sound signal will be amplified and given to a loudspeaker which will convert electrical signal to sound signal and this is how you can hear the sound and for that you can have your 
tone control and volume control fine controls is available in the sound section similarly if you come back to this video section over here video i have amplified from where the sound was separated the next stage will be your video detector now video detector is one which will detect the video information okay and from that video information the next circuits are going to work from this video information from this video detector stage we are also going to have a automatic gain control which will control the gain of the previous two stages that is the tuner and the if amplifier so here we will be having our video signal that is the composite video signal and from that video signal we are going to take the video information we are going to pre amplify it here we are going to power amplify it here and we are going to delay it for some time because we want to decode the color information about the video okay so here you can see the same signal is going for color decoding also so here we are having your pal color decoder so as we know in our our transmitter stage we had generated u and v signal where u and v signal were the different signals like r minus y and y and blue a uh, blue minus y that is b minus y so r minus y and b minus y were representing u and v signal whereas g minus y was not given there because we know that that can be generated by using this two so same thing we are going to follow here u and v signal will be given to a color matrix here so this is a color matrix and from this color matrix original r, r minus y signal will be generated b minus y signal will be generated and from this two you can also generate g minus y signal okay so this is how your color r g b along with your minus y minus y minus y that is luminance will be obtained over here okay now this signal which comes from here and when it is given to the adder and when you combine this signal okay then the information about red signal information about green signal and information about blue signal will be obtained which will be given to the respective guns red green and blue guns which will give the beams of red green and blue okay now these beams are going to be given to the yoke of the picture tube which will generate the electron beam which will go on the screen and on the screen on the other side you can see the picture of the color combination which is obtained by mixing this three primary colors okay now from the same video signal we will also have the sync separator and deflection circuits so here you can see the video signal video signal which is coming it is given to a sync separator so here sync pulses and the blanking pulses okay so the sync pulses are separated and they are given to a deflection circuits from which the vertical deflection which has to deflect at a frequency of 50 hertz because we will be having 50 fields per second and horizontal deflection which has to def deflect at a frequency of 15625 hertz because that many lines will be there per second okay and that is how your vertical and horizontal deflection of the electron beam in the picture tube is going to move and it is going to show a picture on the scanning on the uh, picture tube now here for all these circuits to work we require a power supply and that power supply is shown over here your main power supply will be 230 volt it will be given to a power supply circuit and the power supply circuit will generate the various dc voltages which can be used by all the circuits as your vcc and ground and that is how this color tv receiver will work now to understand this color tv receiver it is very important to understand what we did in the transmitter stage so when we had the three colors r g and b from the tv camera in the transmitter stage 
then we convert it into different signals r minus y and b minus y taking the luminance signal y so r minus y and b minus y were again treated as u and v signals and then u and v signals we had sent okay so that again we are going to decode here so pal color decoder is used to generate the primary colors r g and b by which mixing up of which you will generate a proper color for every pixel of the picture okay so this is how your color tv receiver is going to work thank you students